coverage you can count on continues now with flood warnings still in effect for the Savannah River at Clarks Hill. Last night, the water level at Lake Thurman was just shy of 336 feet. The Army Corps of Engineers had opened the floodgates yesterday morning at the dam to release some of the water, then opened them even further later in the day. In downtown Augusta, the Jesse Norman Amphitheater at the Riverwalk and other parks have flooded because of the release. News Channel 6's Margaret Ann Carter spent the day along the river. She's live now in the newsroom with an update. Jenny, the Army Corps of Engineers is calling it a controlled release, but many residents are calling it a mess. Parks and homes along the Savannah River are flooding, and it's not over. Rangers say the floodgates will stay open for at least five days, depending on how much rain we see. Wow. Wow. It's definitely a sight to see. Picnic tables and garbage cans look like little islands with three feet deep water surrounding them. This is about the worst I've seen. James Pender and his wife walk along the Lock and Dam Park watching in awe as water rushes from the Savannah River into the park. To me, in my opinion is if, if Clark Hill, if they keep those gates open, this boat's not going to go down. It can't. Mm -hmm. Because more water is coming down that way, so it's coming to the Savannah River, straight through here. Across town at the Augusta River Walk, the amphitheater is filling up with water. Scott Hyatt with the Army Corps of Engineers says the dam is doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing, which is releasing water from Thurman Lake. Right now, because of the rain that we've continued to have, the, um, uh, there's still more water coming into the lake than, than what we're, we're letting out, so that lake level is rising. And we're having to pass that water on, on through, but uh, we're still not putting as much in the river as is coming down. Hyatt says all 23 spillways have been opened and are releasing nearly 40,000 cubic feet per second. To put that in perspective, that means the dam is releasing about 320,000 gallons of water every second. This is only the sixth time in the history of the dam that we've had to open the gates for, uh, for flood operations. He says as soon as the lake level drops six inches, they will lower the floodgates. But so far, they have only seen the lake drop a little over an inch. Many of you will remember the dam released two years ago. Well, Hyatt says this time they're releasing about 15% more than what they did then. We're going to continue to follow up with this story. Count on News Channel 6 to keep you updated with the latest information. Back to you, Dion. All right, Margaret Ann. And as she mentioned, the Augusta Riverwalk is closed. Several other locations around the area are closed due to flooding. North Augusta Public Safety is advising people to stay away from the Greenway, the Barley Boat Ramp, the Lock and Dam Park, as well as the 5th Street Marina Boat Ramp, all blocked off. Over in Columbia County, the boat ramp in Riverside Park is also blocked off. And that flooding isn't something we haven't seen before. You may remember in the summer of 2013, we had continuous rain for several weeks. The flood